Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today I'm going to show you is how I make goulash. This is my version of making goulash. So let's get started. So I cut up my stew meat and what I'm going to do is put some flour, salt and pepper and then I'll coat the stew meat in the flour, salt and pepper and then I'll fry it on the pan in a little bit of olive oil. And this is my version of my beef goulash. So in my cup I have a fourth of a cup of flour, about a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. So I'll mix it all together. Now I'll place this in my larger bowl. Now I'll coat the beef. I put some gloves on so I can coat the beef. So you just want this mixture covered over your beef. That looks good. I have some olive oil in my pan and I have my burner on medium. Now I'll place the beef in my pan. Now you want to brown your beef all around. Now I'll move the beef around in the pan because you want the beef to be brown all over. Now I'll go dice up an onion. So now I'm going to cut my onion into slices. They're thin slices. And this was about a medium sized onion, so it's one onion that I sliced. So I'll move my beef around. It's browning up beautifully. Now I'll place my thinly sliced onions in. You want to cook the onions till they're nice and soft too. Now I'll place my lid on top. Now I'll remove my lid. It smells good. The onions are nice and soft. The beef is nice and browned. I made sure to scrape the bottom too to get up all the little tidbits. Now that the beef is browned and the onions are nice and soft, I'll add in four cups of beef broth to six ounces of tomato paste. The four cups is actually this two pound box of beef broth. It's 32 ounces. So now I'll add that into the beef and onions. Here's the four cups. I'll stir it around. I have my burner on low. Now I'll open up the can of tomato paste. I'll add in the can of tomato paste.
Now I'll take my spoon and mix it around. This smells really good. And I'll serve this over orzo. You can serve it over whatever pasta you like or rice. I like the orzo, so I'll cook the orzo according to the package. To this, I'll add about a tablespoon of parsley. I'll stir that around. Now I'll try the broth. Mmm, it's good. I'll let this simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now I'll take my lid off. Oh yeah. See how it reduced down a little bit? I'll mix it around. This meat is nice and tender. So now I'll just cook my orzo according to the directions on the package. This was quick and easy. I just poured my orzo in the water and I'm cooking it according to the directions on the package. I added one can of green beans. It's a 14.5 ounce can. So I added that inside. You can kind of add in whatever you like, if you like potatoes or carrots. I like the green beans in here and I have my orzo, so I'll be placing my orzo in here once it's done. I added the orzo to the sauce, so I'm just mixing it in. Mm -mm. Now I'll place some of this on a plate. So I put some in the plate. Now I'll give it a try. I got the green bean, the beef, and the orzo. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm. It's really good. This was quick and easy to make. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.